Hi, this is Marty Khan from ETS, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Microsoft Office 365. These short videos have been created using Firefox version 42 on a Mac. Firefox is our recommended browser for Windows or Mac users. Office 365 will work in many browsers, but there will be some notable differences in how things operate. If you are using a browser other than Firefox, the ETS call center may not be able to assist you with troubleshooting. Office 365 is an online, browser-based version of Office offering online storage, collaboration tools, and access to your files anywhere, anytime. You can open Office documents online, edit them, and save them to your online account or to your desktop computer. Your account includes cloud storage, called OneDrive, allowing you to upload files, to save them in your cloud storage, and to share them with others. The current version of 365 is intended to allow collaboration between faculty, staff, and administrators, but student accounts are not being offered at this time. For this reason, ETS recommends you use Course Studio or your campus's learning management system, such as Etudes or Catalyst, to share your files with your students. Okay, let's get started. First, log into the FHDA portal using your district-wide ID and your password. This will take you to the portal homepage. Under the second tab, Employees, you'll find Office 365 and a launch link. If this is your first time logging into Office 365, you'll be prompted to provide a user ID. Your 365 user ID is your district-wide ID at fhda.edu. You will only need to use this ID once. It identifies you as part of FHDA and validates your account. Now that you are logged into Office 365, you may close the tab with the portal and continue to use Office 365. This is a good time to mention a very important security procedure. When you've completed your Office 365 session, you must log out and quit the browser. To log out, Click on your name in the upper right corner of the screen and select Sign Out. To quit the browser on a Mac, please go to the drop-down menu under Firefox and select Quit. If you simply close the browser window, you have not quit the application and may still be logged in. If you're a Windows user, go to the drop-down File menu and select Exit. If you do not log out, another user may gain access to your account. This is especially important on any computer located in public spaces such as classrooms, labs, and libraries. You will also want to make sure that Firefox is not set to save your passwords. You can check this on the Mac version of Firefox by going to Firefox, Preferences, and Security. Make sure that Remember Passwords for Sites is not checked. On a Windows computer, this is located under Tools, Options, and then Security. Well, that's it for the quick introduction. When you're ready to move on, watch the next video, Basic Navigation.